Welcome everyone. I'm Joy Anderson and I'm so excited to introduce you and welcome you to our VIP welcome call. You just joined Preschool All-Stars and you're in the right place. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going over the circle of service. Now, this is a super important uh, concept in our Preschool All-Stars Facebook group because it reminds you how we all help each other and how you're going to be able to get help as well. And most importantly, the number one way that you're going to be most successful in our Preschool All-Stars program. Okay, so if you're excited, I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, let's go ahead now and go to our slides because we have a very special presentation to give you called the circle of service and of course how to be able to uh find the most success here in preschool all-stars okay so here we are this is called the circle of service how we support you and how you support each other uh, now for some of you when you visualize finally creating a successful preschool you might think of it feeling like this you're at the top of the mountain, right? So after all, you started our membership solo. So you might envision obtaining that result solo as well. You're like, I climbed the mountain. It was so hard, but I did it. And you're at the top of the mountain with your arms up, right? Because that's how you're feeling. You entered our membership solo, but you don't know yet how great our community is. So you assume that you can and you will do it alone. For most of you, thinking of starting a preschool feels like your equivalent to climbing Mount Everest, right? It's hard. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. 6,338 people have summited Mount Everest. Mm, now, I wonder how many have summited alone. That's an interesting question, right? Well, friends, only three people have made it to the top solo. Three Three out of the 6,338. 6, Why is that? Why have they not made it to the top on their own? Climbers have a 0.04% chance of making it to it to the top alone. So the truth is you can't succeed alone either. You need us and we need you. Now, if you go through our membership alone, you might feel like this isolated, right? Like I'm down here. I, why is everyone over there having success? I see these posts. They're having their first day of preschool. They got their first sign up. They had their graduation. You know, they just made X amount a month in their membership or in their preschool. Like how come I can't have that? Right. And you see everyone over there and you see yourself by yourself, right? You might feel overwhelmed. Like, where do I go? What do I do? Just there's so much, I don't know where to go, right? Just feels like a giant mountain straight uphill the whole way. You might feel scared. You're going to be doing things you've never done before. Yeah. And so you might feel like, whoa, I don't know if I like this feeling, right? Maybe I've been in a little bit of a comfort zone before, and this feels really scary to do all these new things. And you might feel like you might as well give up. This is one of the most recent, um, men who tried to go to the top of Mount Everest solo, but he wanted the accolades of doing, of being the only man who soloed in the middle of winter. And unfortunately he was not able to make it. He had to turn around, right. And give up. So the reality is this is how you find success. Look at that line of, of people climbing that mountain. Do you see that? Do you see that giant line on the crest of the mountain there? Oh, that is not solo, is it? You have someone in front of you. You have someone behind you. You're with a team where you're either one step behind another team member or one step ahead of another team member. Yeah. Now it is okay if you take longer than others to get to the top. My mentor, Stu McLaren says, your journey is your journey. As you can see here, we have climbers at the top. We have climbers toward the middle. We have climbers, you know, toward the back. Same with preschool all-stars. You, it doesn't matter where you're at in this journey because you're on the journey, right? We all start in different places. We all have different amounts of time we can put into things. We all have different amounts of energy, yes? And so because of that, we just go at our own journey and one step forward is a step in the right direction. That is progress. Now, it is also okay during this journey of starting your preschool, if you need to slow down, rest, and even take a breather on the journey, yes? 
it takes two and a half months to get to the top of Everest. Can you imagine, right? Like, I did not know that. I thought, okay, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a week. Like, I had no concept of how long it would take. Two and a half months to get to the top. That's quite the commitment. Climbers rest at five camps along the way. So because it is a journey, right? It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Climbers have to rest. Similarly with you. It's okay. You, this is your journey, right? I had my preschool for 10 years, right? There was many times I slowed down, rested, and took a breather. Your journey is a process of learning, doing, and becoming. Just don't go down the mountain. Okay. That's what, that's our biggest thing is like, when you give up and you go down, that means, you know, leaving your support system, um, giving up on your dream of making this a reality. Now, the most important thing to know in preschool all-stars is success does not look like this. You are not at the top of the mountain alone, friends. It looks like this with your sisters all around you, you know, supporting each other and you helped each other get to the top. You did not let each other give up. Okay. So how do we find success together? Well, we have to shift our identity from being a solo member to being a team member. Okay. So we believe that together we'll reach the top. We believe we can go faster and farther together. We believe when we all help, we all rise. We believe that teamwork makes the dream work and we can do hard things together. Motivational sayings are great, but to really make your new identity stick, you need to take action by asking for help when needed, right? That makes sense. Yeah, I'm going hey, to ask for help, right? We don't know if you need help unless you let us know. Thanking others for helping you, right? How often have you helped someone and then they didn't turn around to thank you? That doesn't feel so good, right? If someone helped you, please tell them thank you because that's going to make them want to think or help even more, right? And giving help when able. Now, I don't mean giving, you know, being in our all-stars group, uh, you know, 24 seven and answering every question. That's not what I mean. Giving help when able. Yes. So we build our identity as a team member through the circle of service. Now, here is what that looks like. As you can see here on, um, let's go over here to this, this diagram or sorry, this picture of we've got these three women, right? And we all start as this woman on the floor where she is wanting to get to the top, right? She's wanting that success. She's wanting to start her preschool, but how does she get there? Yeah. She knows there's several steps she needs to take, but she's not quite sure. So as she starts climbing up, we've got someone in the middle here who is supporting and looking back and saying, Hey, I've been where you are. I started on the floor too. I started at the beginning and I'm going to turn my head back and I'm going to help you up with me. Cause I've been there before. I know the steps, right? So she's leaning back and she's supporting a new sister coming in. Now, here's the thing though. She still has steps to go, doesn't she? The one in the middle here. She still needs to continue her journey. And so she's asking for help from those on top as well, who've already been in her where she wants to go. And they're supporting her because they're like, hey, I've already done that step. I've already um, set up my business, right? I've already signed up students. I've already had my first day. And at various stages, we've got women reaching down to support you because they've been where you are also. Yes. Like they know that the only way forward is together. So they are so willing because they got help, right? They were this woman on the, the floor here at the beginning stage. They were that woman at one time and someone reached down to help them. So as they move up the steps and through their success path, they are looking back to say, I'm going to help too, because someone helped me. So this is what it looks like in action where we've got circle of service. So number one, learn how to do a new task and work to accomplish it. So here you go. You're going through the steps. Awesome. I'm making progress. And then you get a little bit of stuck. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. So number two, you get help from others who've already done the task. Yeah. So they're reaching back. They're helping to support you. And then number three, you're accomplishing the task. Awesome. But here's the kicker. Whoop. Here's the kicker. We need to do number four as well. We need to help others who are trying to learn how to do that task. As we move up the ladder and we become that middle person, we need to look back and say, hey, I've already done that step. I know how to help you now. 
Now, the circle of service can also be thought of as circling back to help others. So once you complete stage one, you can circle back and help anyone going through stage one. You see how that looks like? If you, When you get to stage two, you can circle back and help anyone through stage one because you've already been through it. You know those steps. You know how to overcome things. You'll also receive help from members who are ahead of you. If you're in stage two, guess what's going to happen? Stage three is going to be circling back to help you. Yeah? Now, so here you are. The circle of service can also be thought of as circling around others so they don't feel alone. Let's say that here you are, and we've got someone who's maybe not a, not where you are, or maybe they're ahead of you. It really doesn't matter. But you can just circle around them and support them and just let them know they're not alone, even if you don't have the answer. Now, being a team member looks like this. So, and this is, this is you. You're a team member. You're a preschool all-star now, okay? Asking questions or asking for support when you need it. We talked about that. Thanking other team members when they help you. We are all team members and answering others' questions and providing support when able, yeah? So the circle of service, the only way to the top is as a team.